My name's Jack and I'm doing my own myostatin. What is myostatin? It's a double muscle cow, right? I don't know if you've seen these. Can anybody guess what's going on there? Steroids? It's a big one. Steroids? What else? They produce David. more hormones that produce more muscle. Okay. David? I have no idea. Just make a guess. Wait, is that a real cow? That's a very real cow. Very real, not real. It's it's real, it's alive. Uh, okay. Any other guesses? No? No. No. Just tell us. Alright, I have a video. But it is my it's a gene it's I'll explain it later. You have to wait. <laughs> For the video. I don't think you have to record all parts of that. Can I record myself? Wow. Can you record yourself? You can just edit it later. Oh, Abby, get a camera. I want to get the sound. I've got myself oh, just so they can see what's going on. Oh, dogs. Oh, this is just an intermission. Kill the game. It gets a little weird at the end, so I'm going to stop. You'll see what I mean. In the cow shed, the man in charge of the beef herd is Patrice Lobe. Hmm. He's a big fella. Am I right? He's quite big, huh? Yeah? He's uh, 160, uh, 160 meter tall, yeah. If I saw a man like that, yeah. But I wouldn't get this close to him, I don't think. I would think he was on steroids or something. I think no. he was a bodybuilder. It is 100% natural. Whereby, let's say, within so many generations, all breeders have taken the best of the best, or the more muscle of the more muscle. We move from a normal classical type of animal and then we select that sort of animal based on the double muscle. And when you say double muscle, yeah. do you mean it has two of every muscle? No, no, no. Because it looks like it does. It, it, it has exactly the same type uh, of muscle than any other breed, except that in terms of quantity, each of these muscles is by far more developed. Right. <laughs> this cow is technically known as a Belgian blue, and it's the product of selective breeding. <laughs> selective breeding is the first stop on our tour of how man is using science to control nature. It's used by farmers to enhance desirable characteristics in their animals. In fact, selective breeding is all about managing sex. To create these Belgian blues over a hundred years, farmers have only allowed the cows and bulls with the greatest muscle mass to mate. And the result is a bull that weighs over a ton. The animal's breeders are keen to show off the results of their hard work. The bulls are shaved to best display their muscles. What they try to do is to keep them both in order to highlight the, the, all the muscles. Well, so you can see where all the meat. Alright. What? It's not that. What is it, Mr. Tool? F5. Alright, so. They're talking about double muscle. That was to get you guys interested in these massive cows. Um, so it's the Belgian Blue Bull, and that's the breed. And it was crossbred in the 1800s with the local Belgian cow with the English shortened cattle. And then it created this mutation and um, in, the in these genes, and it was huge. And it has double muscle. Um, so myostatin, what makes it? Myostatin is a gene that was discovered in like 1997 by these two doctors at Johns Hopkins. Um, this gene regulates tissue growth, so muscle growth and bone growth in humans, mice, cats.
cows, all that they've found. Um, it is part of this G TGF beta superfamily. So um, milestatin is in this family, and there's other genes in this family too um, that control like bone growth, milestatin's muscle growth. So um, milestatin gene, when these cells are having these muscles grow, it arrests the cells. Um, so it stops these muscles from growing, right, in all of us. So we don't look like these huge cattle. Um, so this is how it, your body regulates muscle growth, so it's not uncontrollable muscle growth, right? Okay, so what creates these animal size? So it's a mutation. Um, and it's a, the difference in, it's a mutation in their body. Um, and it's turned off, this mouse statin gene is turned off where it's minimal in Belgian Google. So that's why they are able to get so big, because there is no gene to regulate or stop muscle growth. Um, so these double muscle, um, these cells produce um, little or no functional myostatin. So that's why they grow, because there's nothing to stop the muscle from growing, right? Um, so these, this originally, this mutation occurred randomly, like they were saying. Um, and they kept on breeding these huge cattle together. And now you have this breed that are all double muscle. Um, it occurs during translation. So when they're creating proteins to stop, um, to control the muscle growth, that's where the mutation occurs. So it's not able to stop the muscles from growing. Um, and it's because these proteins are not uh, created properly. Um, so it's not able to regulate muscle growth. All right, we're going to do a little lab. All right. So everybody get a board, or every pair of three people. This is us getting a board. Two or three. Four. You can stop it.